Welcome back to another video guys. This is episode 3 here on the Pixelmon Revolution server. My name is Dash or Caleb and today uh, to start things off we are going to be looking around spawn. This is pretty much where this ser I think right here is where we did our intro area. I built this portal. Uh, Tasty built this beautiful beacon using mahogany and ebony wood. I think that's mahogany and uh, it's very nice. And Grimer built this hideous absolutely hideous tower just kidding it looks very nice uh grandma made this skyscraper and people have been talking about pranking it ever since he made it uh grant's house is over that way grandma made this little area right here it's got a healer some basic stuff um but people have been thinking about pranking it but instead of pranking the actual tower i think i am going to prank him by building a tower right next to it that is taller so that is our mission for today i'm gonna put a tower literally right here in this plot i'm gonna copy this front entrance it's gonna look just like his pretty much and we're just gonna copy his tower it's gonna be i think mine is about 10 blocks taller uh so that's nice plus i'll start it uh maybe one block up or maybe we'll have it on the same level not entirely sure but i'm gonna work on this and uh get it cranked out so there may not be uh but like one progress update i think i might do a progress update like once i get maybe this bottom section figured out but after that the top is or you know it's pretty much the same repeating pattern so uh i'm, I'm gonna get started on this uh and i'll show you guys once we have a little bit of progress and then probably once more when we're all done with it and then we will get in to the rest of what we want to do in this video because this is not the only thing i want to do for this video so i'm going to do this and i will uh, be back when we got some progress. All right, guys, we are back, and I have been doing a ton of work. I just have this front bit. I don't have the sides, and I don't have the windows in yet. Uh, I'll do the windows very last, probably. I'll put the floors in, and then go through and do the windows. But I got the front almost done. I've got one more level to do up top, and then it'll be just about done. I've got these anti-blocks. I saw them. I think someone placed a couple over here. I didn't even know we knew we had these. Yeah. Well, they're gone now, but there were some anti-blocks somewhere around here around spawn and i saw him and i was like oh that's such a good idea so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually they kind of light up they don't i don't even know if they actually give off light but it kind of looks like they give off light so what the plan is is to do it like this and i'm also gonna switch out um probably these uh stone slabs with the stone brick slabs i think they stand out too much and i don't like them so yeah i'm probably gonna have to destroy all of these um but yeah these uh anti-blocks looks they look really good and i think it'll be good uh to put like our d logo sign and fall okay yeah so I'm, i'll work more on this and uh come back once we got uh oh you know probably once we've got it all done but let's just look see how that looks yeah look at that uh it just looks like clean but it, at nighttime it looks like it gives off a little bit of light i think I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to work on this, and when I'm done, I'll come back. All right, guys, the dragon fight is in exactly one hour, so um, this is all I can do. Uh, I got off for the night last night after working on it for nine hours straight. Uh, I did not finish, as you can see, but we, it is almost finished uh, in just one session of me playing. Uh, I'm going to make some more anti-blocks right now, and I'm going to hopefully fill in the back real quick um and put you know our d here and here um but grimer is probably going to be getting on any minute so uh i thought i would you know record this little session and show you guys what we got uh up to the point that i thought we could get um before you know he actually sees the quote-unquote prank or you know whatever i'm not really happy with how the this very top section is i might honestly just remove it and let this be the top not entirely sure yet um, cause it looks too skinny right there. And it looks like a lighthouse. I'll probably fill this in with like andesite or something, uh, a couple of the windows. So, uh, I'm going to do just a little bit more work, um, until grammar gets on, hopefully and maybe we'll, we'll get to like witness his reaction, like third person. So I'm going to keep working. <laughs> They're changing out the R. Ooh, I should probably start at the base and work my way up. <laughs> yeah. You want help? Ah! <laughs> he's dead oh he has a light drop yeah that's smart yeah so much for flying under the radar <laughs> well we were flying under the radar with our subtle tower and then someone built another massive tower right next to us yes because your 70 block tower was so subtle yes subtle yes yes 
Oh, this new tower was designed in order to take attention away from us. Yes. Exactly. That's exactly the point. <laughs> you know, Oof. really, with the beacon, it does look like mine goes on longer. Yes, but in actuality, it doesn't. Oh, in actuality, Sad. it does. You just add in an antenna. And? <laughs> Yours is hypothetical height. You want me to add an antenna? I don't see a problem with this. I could no, an... you already added a beacon. I could add an antenna as well. No, those aren't allowed in that we, in that uh you know in that lot. You know, we got another a hundred blocks to go into a build height. Max. You want bad, to... stupid big antenna <laughs> sticking out the top. <laughs> no, you want you want to do this? We go a hundred blocks more. Yeah, I think now all I have to do is add the floors and the elevators, and then I'm gonna start selling the floors. I don't need them. I would even if someone wanted to buy the entire building, I'd sell it and just change the look. All right, looks like we got a. We're gonna give you one diamond for it. Uh, it's like Rocket Inc. is a business proposition. There, you said he'd sell it, and we were taking out your word. You're an honest man, right? I I think uh, I think I'll sell each. Technically, floor you didn't even list the price, which means we could take it for free. But we're no, we're being generous. I think the list price is gonna be a hundred thousand hooky dollars a floor, or whatever that is for the floor. Jeez, Louise. You know, people are going to make a lot more than that. Someone could, you know, make a shop and sell a Master Ball for more than that. Why not I fell off? <laughs> uh, four blocks left and he fell. Oh, wait, no, those are just the... Yeah, I can delete them. I, I got can get rid of them. I got, a, I got a little excited there. Okay. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that scared me, dude. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. 72, 72 golden coins, you say. They look pretty good. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I just did a little bit of decorating here at the Dash Tower. I did finish the lobby, and we have already made a sale. Here, whenever someone gets a store, um, they can, like, put a sign right here, like, detailing what they sell at it. So, second floor, Dash's store, I don't know what I'm going to sell, but third floor, wide store, I'm pretty sure he sells Pokeballs eventually, so, and probably other miscellaneous things. So, we'll put, like, Pokeballs and miscellaneous goods. Uh, if that's the case uh, on the sign, but for now they just have the price and all the rest of them are for sale uh, I'm not sure how much I'm probably gonna do 70,000 for the ninth floor since it's so small um, Here I can show you the ninth floor the eighth floor and the ninth floor are pretty tiny Yeah, so this is the eighth floor and that is the ninth floor right there So I haven't even put it in and to get to it you actually are gonna have to walk across to here probably and go up or I could just put an, an elevator block here but I'd rather do it here because if you go up right here you're going to be on the outside uh, so that might be cool we could do that but probably not so uh, we're gonna go back down and this is our store uh, eventually right up here in the sign pretty much you could probably even turn these into glass and like see out right here but I like it we'll just cover it up and uh, yeah, we'll sell stuff here eventually. Don't know what yet. We'll see. So what I want to work on for the rest of the episode is work on the interior of our black and white personal base in our fighting town. Uh, we want to get the interior done in that place and all sorted out so that we can move, you know, the breeding underground and our chest storage. We want to get all that sorted out and organized so the next episode we can really start working on the town and the gym. So we're going to go back over there and probably plan some things out and then we will be back. All right guys, we have been working, but before I get to that, there has been some important developments. First of all, I think Rocket Inc. would come by here and prank me because whatever I try to do, I just, I can't seem to figure out why, but I can just, I cannot, I cannot go to sleep in these these first two beds. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, on a serious note, I caught a Mew. And I also caught a Victini, so let's take a look at these guys. Honestly, I don't care at all about Mew or Victini. Uh, I don't really like Legendaries that much. But we can use Mew to get Dittos, and Dittos I care very much about for breeding. And I actually, yep, I got a new egg. So let's go over to this page, so when I claim it, it goes in the right spot. I'm waiting until I get a bunch of these guys so I can just do them all at once, because what are the odds it's going to be what I need? So, yeah, let me show you what we've been working on on the inside of the base. Here we are. So, essentially, we've just been digging out, going backwards, and starting to fill this area in. I want to have, like, these little small rooms on this side and just have, like, a, a nice large hall 
feel right here. So yeah, uh, I really like how this is going so far. And I even, I'm gonna push this that back a bit so that it feels like a balcony, but really there's not gonna be anything. It's just gonna feel large and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep working. Uh, real quick though, I do wanna show you some other things I've been working on. For one, I don't know if I've shown this, but we got a Solgaleo. I evolved our Cosmog. He's level 56. And I've been working on this guy printing up so I finally got him. This is, he's the right nature, just about. He's jolly, so minus special attack plus speed, which is what they said this guy should need. And because he's an attacker, and he's been, he's got decent IVs. We'll go IVS1. He's got 26 in attack and 28 in speed. Those are the, the main ones that we care about. And everything else is pretty decent. Perfect in special defense. And then, you know, not too bad in HP or defense. Also... Uh, his special defense is not the worst for IVs, which is good because he actually does, his special move is a special defense move. I'm not sure if we'll keep this on him or if we'll get rid of it and just keep Dragon Claw because it's, you know, a physical move. But he's also been EV trained pretty well. I need to get the EV berries to reduce this special attack stat to finish putting it in attack. But other than that, he's been pretty good. And I also have been working on an Infernape. So we got two of our gym members down. Also, it appears that Tasty Bacon, one of the admins of the server, ended up catching a Mega Lucario. Not catching, killing a Mega Lucario and getting the Mega Stone. So we're going to buy that from him so that we can have a Mega Lucario in our gym. So I'm going to get back to work on this. And when I've made quite a bit of progress... I will come back and show you guys. Alright guys, I've been doing quite a bit of work on our base here, on the interior, and this is what she is looking like. Really enjoy it. We got these, uh, we have four small outcroppings here on the corners. Here's one, there's one, and we've got two right here as well. We've got another portal up here with an elevator. We also am, are going to expand the base downward, have not yet. But we want to expand the base downward with farms and breeding cells. This way I'm thinking of having a bedroom. I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in these four areas. If anybody has any ideas, please leave them down in the comments. And also, if you have any ideas for what to call this town, please let me know. Just as a reminder, we're going to have a fighting gym, some Asian-inspired builds. Um, so yeah, this is the main thing we worked on though. I have finally made a storage system, a storage unit. So we've also got, you know, some furnaces here for easy smelting. I could have done iron chests here, but then it would have been one block back. And it, you would, like, I kind of had to jump to reach or, or, like, be up a block. It was just strange. So I decided to do double chests sideways like this. But this is 1.12, so you can't put two next to each other. So these either had to be, like, a different type of chest or trap chest or whatnot. So I just did Dark Oak because I had it on me. So, got all this done. Uh, really like uh, the leaf roof in here. I think it looks cool. Yeah, we got this uh, this upstairs part here. I guess I'll, I'll give you a better look at it. There's nothing up here. It's really just for decoration. I talked about I wanted to, you know, make it feel like a balcony or whatnot over there. And I guess I technically could, like, punch through here and make it an actual balcony and connect it up to over there, but really, there's no need. Like, what? what's the need in that? N nothing's up there. You're never gonna go up there. You're just gonna run past it. At the end of last clip, I believe I mentioned something about a Lucario Knight. We did purchase that off of Tasty, and then about two seconds later, a Lucario boss spawned here. So we killed it, and now I've got two. I got lucky. We have, well, there's one. Where's the other one? I think I forgot to take it off. Yep, there it is. Let's take this off him real quick and put him back. So we have two Lucario Knights, but as of right now, we do not have any Lucario that we could actually use that on. They're all pretty trash, like 20%, 30% IVs. So yeah, I'm gonna have to keep working on that. Uh, I showed you the Mew earlier, so next episode, I definitely want to spawn in, you know, make the, like the Mewtwo chamber whatnot, and I think you could possibly get Mewtwo or Dittos from that. So really hoping for Dittos. Don't even really care about Mewtwo or Mew or anything like that. So yeah, that's kind of what I want to do with that. Because once we get Dittos, we can breed anything, no matter the gender or species. Uh, big focus for me next episode is probably going to be this river area. And uh, 
planning out the rest of the town. Uh, gonna need to add another waterfall right here, definitely. Uh, do a bit of training work around that. We've got the stone pass from Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, and that's gonna go great um, on the side of the river. We want to plan it out. We want to bring the river all the way this way, probably like winding, meandering through here. All of this is going to get put under the base or in the base storage. So, hey, one of the outcroppings can be an enchant terrible area. Just thought of that idea. So, hopefully, by the start of next episode or to start off next episode, we will get rid of all this stuff. And then we can start to plan out this area as well as work out this area a bit better. Oh, I can actually write this guy. We also want to plan out this area and possibly even, you know, this little peninsula here. And, you know, we got plans bomb stretching out for a while that we could technically build in. Oh, real quick. Let's kill this Perugly. They could drop a Destiny Knot. That was easy. And no, just a suit bell. Not worth that much but anyways that's all i got planned for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i know i enjoyed making it the shenanigans to start off you know building the tower messing with rocket incorporated was pretty fun so you know we'll do some of that here and there throughout the series messing around with people so just expect more of that if you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this episode feel free to subscribe let me know what you thought uh any answers to any of the questions i had before feel free to leave them in the comments it'd be really helpful i'd really appreciate it uh and of course feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it my name is dash and as always thanks for watching